Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so the next program is an energy drink consumption consumption program. So a company um, recently surveyed 12,467 of its customers and found that approximately 14% of those surveyed purchase one or more energy drinks per week. So it's a soft drink company and out of their 12,467 customers, 14% of those people of those customers purchase energy drinks. Remember, it's a soft drink company, but 14% purchase just energy drinks. So of those customers who purchase energy drinks, approximately 64% of them prefer citrus-flavored energy drinks. So write a program that displays the following. The approximate, the approximate number of customers in the survey who purchase one or more energy drinks per week and the approximate number of customers in the server who prefer citrus flavored any energy drinks. So we are going to find 14% of 12,467, and that's going to be uh, the number of, uh, the approximate number of customers who purchase energy drinks, one or more energy drinks per week. And then out of that number, we are going to find 64% of, of it, of them, <laughs> and then, and, and then uh, try to figure out how many uh, the approximate number of people who or customers who purchased or who prefer citrus flavored energy drinks okay so i'll start the class Sorry, I my typing is not the best. Okay, so we're going to declare some variables. And first I'm going to store the I'm going to store twelve thousand 467, that's going to be the surveyed customers. A soft drink company recently surveyed 12,467 12, of its customers. So surveyed customers, and that's going to be integer, in, an integer, right? So int surveyed customers. It's going to be equal to 12,467. And found that Approximately 14% of those surveyed purchase one or more energy drinks per week. So I'm going to find that. I'm going to find that. Since I'm going to be finding percentage. So 14% is equivalent to 14 over 100. 14 over 100. And when you punch that in the calculator, you get 0 0.14. And because that's a double, we're going to end up 0 0.14 of this. It's going to give us a double because that's going to give us a double i'm going to declare a double to store customers who prefer uh, or who buy one or more energy drinks per week so energy drink all right energy drink customers so approximately 14 percent of those surveyed Purchase one or more energy, energy drinks per week. So 14% of those surveyed, of the surveyed customers. And I said 14% is 14 divided by 100, and that is 0 0.14. So 0 0.14 off times, you can read the times as the, the multi multiplication sign as off. So 0 0.14 off the surveyed customers. So now we have the approximate number of um, customers who purchase one or, or one or more energy drinks. So the reason why I put it in a double is because when you calculate this, you're going to end up with a double. But the thing is, if they're human beings, then why is it a double? Because human beings are always going to be two or three or four or five. They're going to be in integers. And they're not going to be like decimals because you, you can't have an, a human being, like 2.2 .2 hum human beings. So I'm guessing that's why they said approximate. So we're going to end up 
converting it to an integer and that's going to drop off the decimal point so and that's going to be the approximate so if it's let's say 2.2 .2, when we when we round it or when we convert it to an integer it's going to be 2 so 2 is 2.2 point, 2 .2 is close to 2.2 .2. so that's going to be the approximate number of customers so so that's fine so the program also went to I went ahead to say that out of those of those customers who purchase energy drinks, which we found here, energy drink customers, approximately uh, appro approximately 64% 60, of them prefer citrus uh, flavored energy drinks. So I'm going to declare another variable, and that's going to be also a double. Energy, sorry, citrus flavored. Oh boy, my typing is not the best, I'm sorry citrus flavored energy mm, citrus flavored customers okay customers okay and that is going to be 64 percent of those who prefer um 64 percent of those who purchase energy drinks so energy drink customers so 64 percent of the energy drink customers and 64 percent is also the same as 64 divided by 100 and that's going to be be equivalent to 0 0.64 of those who prefer energy drinks so of energy drink customers okay so since th this is a double when you do this out th this calculation out it's going to return it's going to result in a double and that's why I'm declaring this as a double but again we can round it to us an um, to an integer we can convert it to an integer and that's going to drop off the decimal and I'm guessing that's why they said approximate so if it's 3.5 customers we're going to approximate it to let's say four or three um, and that's approximate because three is close to 3.5 or yeah all right so now that we have the um, the value stored in variables we can go ahead and and print them out so first I'm going to print print them out the raw the raw the, with the raw values and later on we'll convert them all right so let's system that out the print ln and we'll say that out of surveyed customers out of let's say 12,467 customers and put a comma um, okay so energy drink customers That's going to be the number of the number, all right. Energy drink customers by one or two energy drinks. I'm going to concatenate that. Let me concatenate because it's going on the screen. So energy, it's fine, I'll concatenate it here. And then I'll continue here. You can break it, break it. So buy one or two energy drinks. And out of those, comma, citrus flavored customers. prefer citrus oops I'm sorry my typing is not the best flavored <laughs> citrus flavored energy drinks okay okay so I'm going to compile it and I'm going to create a new folder for that
My tapping is not the best, so it was a bit rough there. But all right, we'll see. So it's going to be energy drink consumption. Okay, and I'll save them here. Okay, so it compiled well with, without errors, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. So out of 12,467 customers, 1,745.38 buy one or two energy drinks. And out of those, 1,117.0432 prefer citrus flavored energy drinks. So that's what I'm. That's what I was saying. You can't have 1,745.38 buy. You know, you can't have 1,100 and um, 17.0432 you know people so in order to make this look presentable we're going to um, round them or convert them to integers and before I do that we, you know it makes sense because it said the approximate so we can go ahead and do that so to convert this to uh, like a reasonable like a, an integer and round a rounded figure so out of, this is already rounded because it's 12,467, but this energy drink customers need, need to be rounded to an integer. And you can do that with typecasting. And I'm going to do that by putting the word int in parentheses right in front of energy drink customers. And that basically converts energy drink customers to an int. It rounds it, round it. It's going to drop the 0.38 is going to just forget about it and it's basically going to print 1745 I'm going to do the same thing for citrus flavored customers int right right in front of it and it's going to drop off 0 0.0432 and it's going to print out 1117 so and and I'm going to just put approximately Approximately that and approximately that. Okay, so this is going off the screen, but um, it's fine. I hope I hope you see it. Um, in future programs, I'll try to fix that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to compile it and run it again, and it says out of twelve thousand four hundred sixty-seven customers, approximately. Why I forgot the space here. Let's just fix that so it looks good. Okay. So approximately one seven four five buy one or two energy drinks, and out of those, approximately one 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 seven prefer citrus flavored energy drinks. So you know this is much more presentable, and 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 better. It looks good. Okay, so. I hope you can see what's here and like I said I'll, I'll fix that in future programs but yeah this program works and it does what the, the question says all right if you have any questions I you can go ahead and comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them and as always I'll see you in the next program thanks very much for watching and have a good day thanks bye bye